All right, I got my hat, my hat cam on so that I can uh, give a more direct view of what I'm working on. And I hope I don't make you seasick watching it. I was doing research yesterday on capotes because I had the idea of doing a capote and uh, I got a few pictures here. This guy was on a video that I took this off of and he's showing his capote. And I've got some, uh, a painting of a capote and I've got a capote in a store. And then here's a uh, diagram on how to make capotes and other gear. And then a few uh, other items showing capotes. It's a, it's a trade blanket that's been converted into a coat. Uh, by sewing it and stuff like that. This gentleman's beard, if I can see if I can get up here to the camera, is braided, and I think I'm going to put the braid in his beard because I, I really like that character. And uh, a couple of pictures of old capotes uh, from the 1800s or early 1900s. So. And that's what I'm thinking of doing and I'll come back when I get to uh, that point. I've got to do some hammering and some reshaping and stuff like that. And uh, right now it's just... Uh, <clears throat> not sure what I'm going to do yet, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. Alright everybody, be right back. Time to play with some clay. Well, as you can see, I've uh, cut in to the uh, clay and I've formed the uh, beginnings of the hood that will fit over his head. And I've got to reshape all this here to look like a coat instead of... Uh, well, that's not going to be hard to do because I've, there's a big flap of uh, material that will lay over. And uh, same here, I've just got to reform this uh, side over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but uh, I'll be back in a few minutes when I get that to a point where I can show you. Okay, i got to reshape the clay a little bit. I think this is going to look a lot better once I get it done. Well, as you can see, I'm quickly running out of clay. I'm going to have to heat up some more clay. I may not be able to do this today, but at least I got this started. And uh, I just, it's taking a lot more clay than I intended, but that's okay. I think this is a, a good exercise in design change, <laughs> and uh, hopefully it's a, a good change.
I get a fill in this void back here too. This will eventually be hair. I just haven't gotten around to deciding how much hair and what style and all that stuff. I think this is a good change. It's certainly going to do what I wanted it to do is develop more of a story and uh, putting a capo on him says that he's in the winter time I got some filling in to do back here to uh, Fill out the back of his head and the back of the capo's uh, hood. Ow! Ah! Okay, I've got to make this coat look a lot thicker. And I'm going to do that right now. Because a Hudson Bay blanket is a heavy blanket. It's a wool blanket. You can still buy them online. They're very expensive. I've got a huge one. I think it's probably in my storage because I haven't got it here in my house. friend of mine, a reenactor, who said that my blanket was too thin. <laughs> and I, I had to agree with him. And it, I told him, I said, it's up to me to make it look uh, thicker, I think. Make it look more uh, realistic. Because the last thing you want in the wintertime is a sheet over your head like I had when I posed. I'm enjoying this. This is a good one. I just wish I had more clay in that pot right now. out of soft clay now. As you can see I've got a very little clay left in this pot.
this is the way I get my clay. I get a box of five of these. They're 10 pound blocks of clay. And uh, I put it under this 100 watt bulb that I've got in a swing arm lamp and uh, that softens up the clay. All right, I'm afraid that's it for tonight and uh, I'll come back tomorrow when uh, this clay is just a little softer and I can uh, work with it. Good night everybody, have a great night. I'm glad I came up with this uh, little bit of inspiration here to uh, follow through with something a friend of mine suggested and uh, good suggestion. Mr. Brown, good suggestion. All right, good night, everybody. Till next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.